case you haven't noticed by now, this is a video about Toshiba Satellite L750D. It's running OpenSUSE 12.3. It's a Linux distro. It's been released only a few weeks ago and it's actually quite good. So all of you people who are still jerking off to Ubuntu, you should give another distro a try as well. Because there are some pretty darn good Linux distros out there, so... Unless you're all just uh, sticking with Windows and not really having any Linux curiosity. I, for my university, am actually obliged to to use this, so... Actually forced me to use Linux at least, so... And that doesn't really bug me at all, because I love it. I like Linux. You just need to get it to work for you and not make a force to work. Not everything is working just yet. Most of the things are, but not quite everything yet. I've got all these widgets here on the side. You can see it's only using 0 0.6 gigabytes of RAM, not have to swap file. CPU is doing basically nothing. Disk space is quite good. It just doesn't detect a battery, so there are no power saving features available, unfortunately. Nothing I can do about that right now. Other than that, everything is working like a charm. Even have Google Chrome installed. It has lots of good desktop effects. It's, it's a really good looking operating system, I can tell you that. So I've got my uh, Google Chrome set up just like I would on my phone or on my desktop over here. You can see it's pretty much the same thing. I'll just zoom in on the theme there so you can see about that. That's all the same as right here. So that all works just fine. YouTube HD works fine. We'll see how I can actually demonstrate that in a bit more. There we go. Even notifies me that it went full screen. Now the connection has to keep up. perfectly smooth no lag whatsoever which is to be expected so 3d acceleration is perfectly working okay that does the one yeah there we go now I rearrange my desktop in a more Windows type of fashion friends I will now attempt to Show some gaming footage on Linux since Steam has been ported to Linux. Will has to have to connect to my Steam account first, which is already logged in on my desktop. I will disconnect that and I will type in my password. Let's take a look at how that operating system looks right there. That's pretty slick. It's nice and black. This is, by the way, running on KDE, with the KDE start menu. Okay, it's already starting Counter Strike now. It's currently unavailable. Gotta love bugginess of Steam every now and then. As you can see now I can also access the Steam Store and stuff and everything. I can view my library. This is my library of Linux games that are Linux working. Oh here it's updating, that's why. Okay. You can also just access your Windows games, but they of course won't really work, so. But you can see what you've got installed in terms of software and games, so. Also got one whopping piece of software, and that's 3D Mark Vantage. Well, yay. Not even installed, but still. 
Seems that we'll have to go, gonna have to wait till this updates and then I will show the gameplay of Counter Strike Source. Or might as well just show a bit more of the operating system in the meantime. So there's the KDE start menu. You've got your various applications like you would under Ubuntu and stuff. You know, graphically related apps. There's the photography. You've really got a hell of a lot of apps on this system, so or applications. Well, it's just, it's the same darn thing. People just can't convince me otherwise. So, internet, web browsing, for instance, got three browsers. By default, you've got Firefox and Conqueror, and I installed Chrome because uh, I just can't work with Firefox anymore. I like to sync my history and everything all the time. Uh, MROC audio player and everything. You can go wine installed in Microsoft Office 2007. That was quite uh, funny. I guess you could imagine. So let's go to wine here and I'll show you. This is just for fun purposes, not necessarily to really use it. Because it's not the most stable software, as you could imagine. Especially not running on wine. It will always take a while to load. Because even though this laptop now has an SSD in it, Linux is not running off of it. This is running on the hard drive, which is here in the optical bay. My optical drive used to be right here, but it sort of disappeared, I see. Um, it seems somebody moved it. Okay. Um, yeah, someone moved that. But yeah, I took it out, so. And this is Office 2007. Everything is working. All the features are working. It's the Dutch version. It even corrects correctly, so. Yeah, it's, it's not really, as you can see, it already throws up a lot of template crashes and stuff. So it, it's far from stable, but it works. <laughs> you can use it for word processing just fine, up until the point that you actually close the application. So let's uh, show you Counter-Strike Source running on Linux. That's always interesting to see. Turn up the sound. I don't have a mouse available at the moment, but I just have to use a trackpad. Start a bot match. It should be good enough. I would imagine. really makes you feel like you, you're getting used to an SSD just waiting for hard drives to read files and start games up because I do have a couple of games on my SSD in my desktop so but uh, my laptop it's not really big enough to really put much on there okay let's buy something oh yeah right pistol round sorry about that vibration Good for you, people. I'm not seeing Jack. I know IBM ThinkPad R51. I'm not talking about you necessarily. He's got the package. No, I've got the package, if you know what I mean. Tee hee. 
Hmm. If that wasn't that other dude from YouTube, it used to be uh, Infinity Park 003, I believe. That's if I remember correctly. Who oh, knew no, I got pooned? Oh well. That uh, should uh, sum it up quite a bit. That's uh, enough Linux for today. There's one more thing. That's a bit Steve Jobs like, I know. I want to show. I've got a Samba share with my desktop, so. Right, the firewall is still enabled, so we're gonna disable that. Firewall, there we go. This operating system is quite easy to use. The commands aren't exactly quite the same as in Ubuntu, but most things overlap. And it's just usually just one word that makes a difference. Uh, let's see if we renew that, what will happen? If this video is awfully long and boring, then, uh, then well, fuck you. <laughs> That's all I can really say, because I just don't give a damn. I'm just doing my best to uh, show off how this other distribution of Linux that you don't really see and hear much about runs on a fairly modern laptop. So there you are with my work group, which is my work group, my PC. Uh, what am I? What else? That password check everything in this thing. Anyway, there we go. There's my D drive, which is shared with my from my desktop. You can, for instance, access my uh, folders with some older games and the movies I have to edit and stuff, and the junk folder. You can all access that just fine. I'll just to. Uh, go so you can see all the folders that are here just take uh, that and act are also there except maybe for folders like recycle bin and stuff but that's all Windows stuff that Linux reads this way so I hope you enjoyed this video I thank you for watching and it's time to shut Linux down